friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny, and I am so not an expert. Today we get to work on clue three of our Cotton Cuts mini puzzle mystery quilt. If you haven't seen it already, make sure you check out videos one and two. I'll put a link in the description box below to the playlist for them. Go check those out first so you have a better idea of what's going on. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you know when the vi next video comes live. All right, guys. Let's crack clue three open. All right, guys, let's crack open clue three. Now with all of Cotton Cuts puzzles, their pieces are already pre-cut for us. So we don't have to worry about any cutting. And sometimes there's a little shifting in transit, but it looks like we're good to go there. All right, so these are the pieces we've got for clue three set them up there. It looks like we've got A, B, and C, and some D fabric as well. All right, so step one. Join a small triangle A, which is this one here, to a small triangle B, which is this lighter one here, and make eight of those. All right, let's see what we got. Seven, eight of those. Eight of these. Looks like we got a lot of these today, guys. Let's see. One, two, seven, eight. All right. Looks like we're going to make some half square triangles. You guys have seen me make those a hundred times before. We're just going to go ahead and chain piece them up. And let's get to it. These are triangles, so they are set on the bias. So we're just going to gently peel them open and then smush them down with our fingers. I don't really want to stretch them, so I'm not going to try and do my normal finger press. Okay. Got that all set up, and now it says to join a small triangle A to a small triangle C and to make 10 of those. Boy, oh boy. All right, let's do that. Must be this big stack here. All right, there's 10. You guys have seen me do this a hundred times. These are just more half square triangles. So I'm going to go ahead and put these together and then I'll bring you guys right back so we can see what the next step is. See you again in just a second. Okay, just finishing up ironing up these half square triangles. And then we're going to see what step two tells us to do. Okay. All right, step two says join the AC units, which is the ones we just had to one AB unit as shown. Oh, join two AC units to one AB unit as shown. Make four and then set aside. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna flip these over so all the triangles are facing down like that. And these are also gonna face the same way. Okay. Okay, so it says to take one of these and then one of those and then one of those. We're going to sew these all up together uh, and make four. You'll notice as I'm doing this, I keep checking my uh, color chart to make sure that I have the correct pieces that I'm looking at here. C is the darker one, which is on the outside, so I need to do another C on all of these. Just making sure I'm getting it right. Alright, take these apart. Okay. All right. 
right, so there's those four. And then it says we need to make two more the opposite direction. So we actually have to do the light colors on the outside and the dark on the inside. Part. And again, everything gets pressed to the left this time. So I'm just going to finger press everything up and then give it a nice press with the iron. All right, so there's our two pieces. And now step four says join one step three, which is this one here, on top of a step two unit, which is this one here. And then join another step two unit on top of the new unit like that and make two. Okay, let's do it. And now since we've pressed them in opposite directions, our seam allowances or our seams should nest up really nicely. Now we should be able to nest our seams. nicely. A little tug from the back if I need to. Okay. And it says to press everything down. So. Great. One. Again, same thing, we should be able to nest our seams pretty well. Sometimes these triangles give you a little bit of extra bulk and it makes it a little challenging to get those seams nested up. So just take your time if you need to, pin them up so then that way it's easier for you. Get my iron on that, get that down. All right, so here's our first one cute, isn't it? And then I'll just put the rest of the pieces together real quick to make the second one. Okay. All right. So there are our two units. And we can mark those as section 3A. Three A times two. All right. Those later. Okay, now on to three B. Yay, more triangles. <laughs> but you probably figured that out already based on the pieces that we have left over. Uh, this says join a small triangle A to a triangle D and make four. So we're going to do that. After that, I think we're done with triangles because I, th I think that's that's all the pieces for the triangles. <laughs> all right, let's put these together real quick. Now that we've got those all pressed up, it says to join the two units together as shown. And so it's showing us putting this one down and that one up. All right, let's sew them up together. All right, now it says to take these two pieces and assemble them together. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're going to lay them sideways so that it makes a V. Got it. And be
Not bad. Just gonna let the iron sit on it for a second, make sure it gets nice and set in there. Okay. And then the last step is we have these two rectangles that get attached to either side. stubborn seam that did not want to lay flat on me. That's all right though. And then both of these get pressed towards the center. Okay. And that's it guys. This is section 3B. That's it for clue three. If you haven't already, make sure you check out clues one and two. Again, I think a link will be in the description below to the playlist. You can check up on those. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the video. And don't forget to check that notification bell. That way you'll know the next time a video goes live. And you'll also know the next time we do a live stream. We usually do those on Sundays, usually around 1030 central time. We, use our, we work on our bigger projects on those. I have two full size quilts going right now. Um, so I usually flip back and forth every weekend between which ones we work on and we're having a lot of fun there So I'd love to see you guys join me there As always guys, thanks so much for joining me and I will see you all again next week. Bye